you want to learn the pro tips about douching so that you can bottom in peace, or perhaps just so that you can do the routine the right way and know that your insides are clean, you're not going to have any accidents, well watch this video all the way through because I will be giving the best tips on how to improve your douching style. And you will learn how to douche the right way. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Stephen Brenland here with another video. I know a lot of you who follow me are interested in the gay world or the gays and the girls, things that interest us. I spoke a lot about bottoming, I've spoken a lot about topping, but I think it's important to talk about beauty and how to look after your body. So I will be making a couple videos on that and I believe that douching is a really important subject to talk on, especially in the gay community. And I know a lot of you want to understand how to do it more. Just to familiarise yourself with douching, it's basically where you use a certain little douche, a tool, a squirt gun, and you insert it in your peach, and then you squirt some water up there. You hold it, and then you release, and basically it gets out all of the bad stuff. Your insides are pretty much empty, which means if you are bottoming, you won't have a fear of having an accident. So it's a good way to just make sure that everything is clean down there. Regardless of if you douche or if you don't douche, you can still be clean down there, but douching is a great way to ensure that you just won't have an accident. Before we do get into the video, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I really mean it. Even if you are closeted and you always come back to watch my videos, listen, it's our secret. Just hit the subscribe button. I'm not going to know who you are. It will be your little secret. But if you are just a gay, a girl, a guy, and you are interested in these types of videos then make sure that you do subscribe to my youtube channel as i do post a lot of these videos and i have a lot of future content coming out based on these types of topics hit the bell button so you get alerted every time i upload a new video straight away otherwise youtube won't tell you when i upload new videos leave this video a big thumbs up thanks all my socials are at stephen brendan and my only fans currently is free 99 dollars Okay, I decided to do a bigger sale, so I will link that in the description and in the comments down below if you want to check me out on there. The first tip on douching is to fill the douche with warm water. A lot of people will do it with cold water or really hot water. What you want to do is warm water. It's not too harsh on the body, but it's still effective. So please, if you're someone who fills up a douche with cold water or hot water, start doing it with warm water. Avoid using soap, that can be really harsh on your body, especially if you're going in. So avoid using the soap when you're douching and warm water will just be fine. Now guys, when you are inserting the douche, please don't just push it in. Lube up the nozzle and then put it in. At the end of the day, something is still going in your body, so you need to be gentle regardless of how much experience you have and just always lube up the nozzle. It makes the beginning process easier and you you guys know if you bottom you need to warm up. You need to warm up that peach otherwise things aren't going to end well. If you are not really familiar on how to douche here is a quick rundown. So you will fill up the douche with warm water, avoid using soap, lube up the nozzle, insert the nozzle, squeeze the bulb to push the water in you should be able to hold the water for a certain amount of time you'll feel it in you and depending on how long you want it in there is up to you but don't do it for too long and then maybe walk over to the toilet or just stay in the shower it depends what type of thing you're into and then let the water expel and it will leave your body but it will also take out a lot of the bad stuff when the water leaves your peach you should probably do it over the toilet and repeat the process until the water starts running out clear. Between each process, make sure that you wait five to 10 minutes just because some water will get stuck up there anyway and it will need time to come out. And also just don't do it again and again and again. Give your body some time to recover. It won't take too long, just five to 10 minutes and you'll be good to go again. But if there is water up there and it hasn't come out for a while, don't worry, what is in you will eventually come out. Now, a tip that I cannot stress enough is that when douching, please don't do it just before bottoming. I mean, you can do it if you want, but I do not recommend it. And the pro tip would be to do it a couple hours before you actually bottom. 
Another tip would be to not do it all the time. Unfortunately, when douching, you can get attached to it and then you start wanting to do it again and again. My friend struggled with this and he started doing it every day just because he liked the feeling of being extra clean. But what's unfortunate is that it really is not good for the body if you're doing it constantly, it's quite unhealthy. So try and do it two, three times a week if you are going to do it, but don't do it more because it's not good to do it every day. Now, regardless of if you are going to douche or not douche, you should always be eating foods that are high in fiber or try to incorporate foods that are high in fiber. Now listen, I don't wanna tell anyone what their meal plan should be and what you should be eating. At the end of the day, you should eat what you're comfortable with, but what I recommend is to eat foods that are high in fiber. And this is because foods that are high in fiber always assist in cleaning out your body anyway. So if you're eating foods that are high in fiber, a lot of you won't even need to douche. But if you are going to continue to douche and you eat foods that are high in fiber, half the work is already done. So it's a win-win. Avoid laxatives. Do not do laxatives at all. They're really damaging to the body and if you do struggle to release, at the end of the day, just give yourself free time. Even if you need 30 minutes to an hour, relax, don't push and avoid laxatives. At first, laxatives may seem like a good idea, but they do have long-term ramifications. Okay guys, another tip would be to make sure that even if you're using a douche or a shower head, whatever you're using to douche, you need to make sure that it's on a low setting. So if you use a shower head, put it on a low setting with obviously warm water. And then if you are squeezing the bulb on the douche, make sure that you're doing it not too rough. Just do it gently because doing it too rough is not good as well. Okay guys, so if you've never douched before, I can always go into more information on these topics and I will attach some products down below. So if you want to buy a douche or buy any bottoming products, then check the description of this video because I will attach all the products that I recommend for you guys to use. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, press the bell button so you get alerted every time I upload a new YouTube video. Leave this video a big thumbs up if you want to see similar videos like this. And other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Mwah. I know, I know a lot of you who follow me are interested in the gay world or the gay, the gays and the, the gays and the girls. Things, things that interest us clean down there. To feel, is to feel things aren't going to end well. And you need, yeah. Laxatives may seem like a good idea, but they do have long-term ramifications, but they do have long-term ramifications. <laughs>